Hey, this keeping it real with your host, Justin Villarreal, and today I'm going to be giving you my predictions for the conference championship games of all five of the Power Five conferences. All the Power Five conference championship games are set, and today I'm going to be giving you my predictions for each of those games. We're going to th get things started in the Southwest as the Washington Huskies will take on the USC and Beckys. That's what they're called from now on. From now until the end of time, USC, they're called the Aunt Beckys. That's just how it's the way of life. And so, unfortunately for Aunt Becky, she's not going to be able to watch this game because she's going to be in jail. But I think her team wins. I think Aunt Becky's team wins. Maybe Uncle Jesse could watch the game on her behalf, you know? You never know. But yeah, the USC, they have been pretty good this year. They have they have been pretty good, and they've won games they should have lost. They almost lost to Arizona State. They come back and steal victory from the Arizona State Sun Devils. Then the very next week, they stay in the Valley and play the Arizona Wildcats. And they almost lost that game, but... Once again, they came back, and I just think that USC is too good to lose to a team like Washington. Washington is good, but I just think USC is better. And I think that USC is going to have a game kind of like they've had this season multiple times where they're losing late in the game, and you think the game's over. USC has lost. And then at the very final seconds, guess what happens? USC wins. USC wins. At the very end, moving on to the Big Ten Championship game, my conference, and the Northwestern Wildcats are going to be taking on the Ohio State Buckeyes. Now, Ohio State, I know their fans are going to be mad at me for saying this, but it's the truth. They've been pampered by the Big Ten. No other team is getting this special treatment, and Ohio State's a good enough team that they don't need this kind of a treatment. I think this is doing Ohio State a disservice because... This is hurting their playoff chances the way the you the way the Big Ten has been pampering them. They get a bye week before having to play the Big Ten championship game against Northwestern. They don't need a bye week. Northwestern didn't get a bye week. They did not play enough games to qualify. Now, that's not entirely their fault. But what I'm saying is the Big Ten should have set them up with a matchup against Texas A&M, who's also trying to get that last playoff spot. Because I, I think Ohio State could have beat Texas A&M. But that that did not happen. That game was not set up. And you and Ohio State gets a bye. That's going to hurt their chances. They're going to beat Northwestern here. But who have they beat? They're going to be 6-0. But look at who they've beat. They haven't really beat anybody really good. Now, you could say, oh, you play who's in front of you. But the playoff committee is going to look at that differently. And I'm just saying, like, Ohio State... By the way, I don't hate Ohio State. If Ohio State gets into the playoffs, that's going to be the team I want to win the national championship. I'm not hating on Ohio State. I'm just saying the truth. They haven't played anybody that good. And teams like Texas A&M, who, who are also trying to get that final wild card spot, they might get in over Ohio State based off of the strength of schedule. Based off of how the schedule panned out, Texas A&M has played tougher competition and won. And that's why Texas A&M may get in over Ohio State. And I was saying the Big Ten, instead of pampering Ohio State, should have actually challenged them. Because I think Ohio State's good enough to where if you gave them a real challenge, Ohio State could have beat Texas A&M. Ohio State's not a bad team, but they're being given special treatment. That makes them look bad in the eyes of the playoff committee. That's what I'm trying to say. I want Ohio State to do good. But the Big Ten's not doing them any favors. Moving on to the Big 12. Oklahoma's going to be playing Iowa State. And I think Iowa State's going to win this one. I just, I think that Iowa State's the better team this year. And Oklahoma, Spencer Rattler is not the solution at quarterback. I just don't think he is the guy to be your quarterback of the future. I just don't. Maybe he'll prove me wrong. Maybe not. But I just don't see him 
as the solution they need a new quarterback and because of that they will lose this game spencer rattler is gonna throw a crucial interception in this game i'm telling you moving on to the acc conference championship game the rematch that everybody's been waiting for clemson taking on notre dame but clemson has trevor lawrence this time and that makes a big difference because last time notre dame barely won with trevor lawrence on the sidelines now trevor lawrence is going to be in this game it's going to be over for notre dame notre dame had a good run while it lasted but clemson's going to win the acc with trevor lawrence and the final game the sec championship game alabama taking on the florida gators and i think i accidentally jinxed kyle trask because i made a video talking about why he's going to be the heisman while he's why he's going to be great in the nfl and what does he do against lsu what does he do against a bad lsu team he played terrible and alabama's been playing amazing alabama has pl been playing amazing all year long and i think that alabama will win this game i think alabama will be the champions of the sec that is all for today's video don't forget to like and subscribe for more sports content and i'll see you all in the next episode